currently have this Fenty Skin Cookies and Clean Detox Face Mask on as I start my day. I do need to go through my skincare um, cabinet because there's some things that I haven't used in a while or I stopped using and I just need to clear them out. Um, only because now that it's we're getting into spring, my skin is clearing up a bit. But for example, I do love this hyaluronic um, type of essence. I got this last year in Japan and I only started using it a few months ago because I had another one. Of course, my tried and tested La Mer favorite. Um, and then the Prada moisturizer is actually quite nice. Because I did a job with them recently, uh, get ready with me. So obviously, I figured, you know what? Once this Lemer is almost done, because it is coming to an end, I'm gonna continue on with the Prada moisturizer. It's called Augmented Skin, and I've been trying to deal with my really um, it's hyperpigmentation on my forehead. So I was trying to work with a vitamin C and this is the one that I've been using because I was using Apollo's Choice one in combination with this but I thought let me just try something different because I feel like my skin gets too used to a certain vitamin C so this one has been nice um, but at the same time I haven't really noticed any difference with my hyperpigmentation. I am getting a hydrofacial soon so hopefully that will help like boost it. And then of course there's the Ordinary, can't go wrong with that. This is called a ghrelin, a, a ghrelin solution. I can't pronounce it properly, but it's meant for like wrinkles and fine lines. It's supposed to be really good. So you put this underneath your other serum because it's quite light. So I like putting this around where it would be like your crow's feet area, so to speak, and the forehead. Again, the Ordinary is so affordable that I don't mind experimenting with them because the other item that I have from them is this um, hyaluronic acid, which I sometimes put underneath as a base of another serum or just have it on its own. Like for example, Shani Darden, that's another brand that I highly recommend you guys use. Um, I'm using this for now. This is their Moisture Boost Plumping Serum and you can use it in conjunction with vitamin C. Speaking of, the one vitamin C that I was using religiously before I got the Biosense, it was this one. It's uh, SkinCeuticals. SkinCeuticals is so good. I have the, hy the um, Hydrofacial Tomorrow is with SkinCeuticals. It's in Harley Street, so I think they have like a new product or some facial coming out that they're doing. Um, and I'm going to be doing a facial with SkinCeuticals so I was able to put this on, leave it for a while, and this Shardy Darden Moisture Boost, it says you can use it with vitamin C, so I don't know if anyone in the comments is probably thinking why are you using all these products at once, I don't. One week I might use one combination, another week I'll use a different combination. So of course that means serums like these, this La Mer one is a lifting contour serum. I used it a while back, but I will only use it again maybe closer to the summer or like spring once I've sorted out my hyperpigmentation because that's more so contouring. Um, yeah, I love Ambrilise. It's always a good go-to moisturizer. And I was using this quite a bit, especially in the evening when it was super dry in January, February. This I always love, Sunday Riley. It's got vitamin C and turmeric and it's a face oil. So that has never let me down. Again, it's not like I'm using all of these at once. It's just stuff that I haven't used in ages. Like I use this for the longest time. It's almost finished, but I haven't used it in ages. So maybe I just need to finish that up. Um, but in terms of face wash, I was using one of my favorite ones is by Fresh, the Soy Face Cleanser. And I, this is my other favorite one, the Dr. Dennis Gross one, the AHA, BHA one. I love this one as well. So that's the one that I'm using at the moment. Um, so yeah, my main concern right now is getting rid of the hyperpigmentation that I got from when I was experimenting with tretinoin. I, I didn't need to use tretinoin. I, I feel like that's where my problems began when it left the dark marks and I'm just not, and they haven't gone away. So that's what I'm dealing with now. I stopped using it right before the new year 
and my main focus now before peak summer is to get those little dark marks cleared. This is a UV spray that I got in Japan as well. In terms of sunscreen, I, I am really good with sunscreen. I bought a bunch of these last year in Tokyo and I think this is the last one that I have left. So I will go back to my usual sunscreen that I get here in the UK, but I always put sunscreen during the day. But yeah, that's just a little little bit of info on my current skincare dilemma. So when I went to that um, magazine store, I got these posters, they were one pound each, which is amazing. I couldn't like, the way I had to dig through them and they had like this rope over to stop them from blowing over and I was carrying a bunch of stuff. So I need to go back there again after I've had a, a nice little break from work to get like a third poster so that they can be a trio above my couch and it will make more sense afterwards once I have them. And I feel like I might end up getting the same dark wood frames as the one that my um, Japanese poster has from H&M Home basically. I do, as much as I want to be creative, I just think those are simple, straightforward um, picture frames that will work. Granted, the interview one is slightly longer than the dazed cover and I feel like the third poster that I'll get will probably be a bit different. Um, they're both the same length actually, funny enough. It's just, I feel like when it comes to the picture frame for this one, it's gonna be a little bit tricky um, because it doesn't have a border at the top. So I might have to get the type of frame that just cuts away the two white strips on the side. And then of course this one, love that. I have to go back again and search properly. And the guy was so sweet at the store. Um, it was my first time in there. So I'm gonna go back again and be like, hey, it's me. <laughs> and then just try and find a third one to match. So what do you guys think? Um, yeah, I mean, I love, I'm more into like photography type of photos um, instead of your usual art. I'm saving the art for when I get my big ass house. So in the meantime, I just love fashion and yeah, this is what inspires me and the content that I create. And I love these two artists, so yeah. I finally came around framing this photo that I bought in Japan, literally almost a year ago to this date. I went to Japan last year in May and I was still trying to find a nice picture frame for it. There was one by Rosa Parks at Zara Home that I had wanted. Granted, it was like 90 pounds. Um, but then I realized I'm not someone that hangs photos a lot um, in my apartments. I'm getting used to that more and more. But then I ended up just getting this picture frame from H&M Home and I wanna put it above my bed. I'll show you um, what it will look like because I quite like a minimal look to my bedroom. <music> fireplace is where I like to have flowers um, and sometimes I have like lilies or any sort of huge arrangement that can cover this whole area and I do kind of want to use this new vase that I bought from H&M Home. Um, I just want to go back into more solid vases instead. I'm thinking of donating this one to my local charity and here's why i've found this wider one a lot more difficult to decorate or like put flowers in without having to find flowers that fill up the neck because it has such a wide neck so i feel like i either have to have a lot of flowers or else it just looks half empty and that's because the longer version of it is the one that i've used the most 
it's just down here it's got these flowers in it these are the fake flowers from at hem that i've probably mentioned before um they're so gorgeous i feel like with these flowers i might even transfer them on to a different vase or actually i, I quite like them here because they blend in they with the um you don't really see the vase as much because the main focus of course are the flowers right next to the magazines by my television and i'm someone that wants to declutter i'm going through that decluttering phase with my wardrobe things around the house so i don't want too many vases because it's not like i've got a million places around the house to put them in so this one's going to get donated i will still keep these three um, only because i really want to get back into the ceramics this one is by completed works i got this as a gift from netta porta i really like it um it's done well with certain bouquets that i get from brands so i can always put this on the other side of my fireplace um, if i want to like fill up the space it's a bit messy right now but usually here in the middle i've got my candles on the right i've got that um, bouquet of fake flowers and then on my left in that little corner i'm not going to show you too much is where i would put this black vase this one um, whenever there's another set of flowers or by my dining table which i will sort out later on this weekend and then this one was from a friend of a friend um, called Calacera. they are italian um, you probably can't see it well but it's got this like intentional dent on the on the side and i really love it so i just want to have these three for now and the one other transparent one and i'm going to donate this one because i don't really do well with wide wide necks um in terms of filling up a vase or at least not having too many flowers for them to sit up properly i'm so in love with this one um, i really really like it and just as a reference because i already have these fake flowers in my bedroom i've had these for over two years they're so so good it was a gift from a brand, so I don't remember um, where they're from. But then there's this vase. I will put the name on the screen, but it's I think it's a Danish brand from Copenhagen. It's so heavy. It's so, so good. That's going to be a vase for life, no matter what, to the point where once I get my forever home, it's going to be one of those vases that will have some sort of centipede somewhere, maybe in the hallway or particular dining or living room. It's absolutely stunning. We we're gifted by a skincare brand, I think, if I remember well, and they, it's it's really weighty. It's such a heavy uh, vase, but it's from a Danish brand. And yeah, I'll give you the details of that. And because I have it on this humongous wooden chest of drawers in my bedroom, I feel like I don't need another um, spot for flowers. Who knows, maybe once I clear out the mess on the right, which you won't see right now. I may have room for a second vase from time to time when I do get a bunch of flowers all at once, but I'm very minimal and I just like a minimal space. A courier came earlier on from Prada. I am doing some work with them for their Prada Beauty products and they sent me all of these, including a foundation that I need to quickly try out. They sent me like three shades so I can match myself. Um, but we're also going to a concert tomorrow. It's basically the singer Ray. And if you guys know that famous song where she sings about Prada, we're tying that into the content creation. So I need to film the first half of me getting ready using Prada Beauty. And then I'm going to incorporate some concert footage into my TikTok. It's going on my TikTok. So this is a layout of the Prada Beauty products that I'm going to be using. I'm not going to use all of them, just some of them. So I was just going through like the different foundation brushes. Um, this is a very interesting bristle, the way that they've cut it into like three tiers. But I will definitely be also making use of like the eyeshadow, most likely like these colors here. And then these are the foundations. Um, and then the other two are refill, which is so great. I love when makeup brands can reuse their packaging. Um, I feel like DW80 might be more my colors. Hard to tell on the camera, it looks a bit different. I'm not really sure. 
um, but I will give them all a try. But this one on the far right is most likely closest to my shade. Um, so I'm gonna test those out before I shoot them. One other PR that I wanted to show you guys that I'm so excited I received. I'm a huge Bayredo fan, like many other people, and Balde Freak is my favorite out of all the fragrances. Um, you know, as someone who's of African heritage, I've just, I love the perfume from day one. Um, if I could only have one Bayredo fragrance, it would be this one. And they've got plenty of amazing ones um so this is what they sent me as well this is so lovely of them the shower gel and of course the body lotion um and then here's what i'm so excited to look at because i remember when they were filming shooting this campaign um it's the magazine this is absolutely stunning i mean of course you guys already know what the fragrance looks like. I don't really have to unbox it, um, but it is a favorite of mine. And now I've got these shower gels as well to match. I did open it and I realized it's a pretty big bottle. I thought it was the usual, I think I have like the 60 mil, um, the standard size, but this one is really, really big and it's gonna last me forever. <laughs> okay, got my hoodie on, my puffer jacket on. I have a Pilates class that I'm going to. My friend Peony's hosting it, so I'm gonna go um, head over there and yeah, I'm looking forward to the start of the week. in some pieces um, in the past like two three weeks some I bought myself and others I was gifted by brands and because now we're officially in spring um, there's that transition of wardrobe essentials I've brought some stuff in I also do clear out a lot of things in my wardrobe as well um, so that's something that I've been consciously doing since Christmas time because I am keen on having classic pieces that will last me a really really long time but that I can transition over for different seasons and stuff of course a lot of these pieces that I'm going to show you are more neutral colors I am working towards getting more print and that sort of thing. You probably see that more closer to like summer, like June, July. Um, even then, that is going to be subtle for me. But in the meantime, I thought I would show you a few pieces um, that I got and I'll share the details of all of these down below in the description. We are starting off with this trench coat or MAC, how we call it from Dunst. Dunst is a Korean brand. I only discovered them recently. This actually was gifted by a PR who I've known before um, when it comes to other Korean brands that they've introduced me to. And I'm just super excited to get more and more into Korean fashion brands. So I chose this coat. I have another um, trench coat that is a lighter color, which I'll show you shortly, but I've never had a dark trench. I always have a lot of like black leather coats, puffer jackets, but I was missing a trench coat. And I love the fact that this one is navy um, because, you know, sometimes I want to experiment beyond just wearing black and I didn't want something that was also necessarily going to be too light because it's nice to have an option to have a trench coat that I don't have to worry about getting dirty when I'm out and about. So this one is perfect. I love the length of the sleeves. The length overall is great. It does have this detail on the inside of the sleeves that is striped, but that's only, it doesn't extend to the very inside of the jacket, which is great because I do quite like the idea of having uh, one color both on the inside and outside. So I guess you could have that option of rolling up the sleeves um, just to show a bit of a striped print or you can wear it with the sleeve down which is what I much rather prefer when you're tying it as well the strap is super long I think it went around my waist twice 
Um, for me, I prefer to tie the belt like a knot. I never really use the loopholes because that can vary depending on your size. And of course, if you're wearing layers underneath, as it is spring, I won't be wearing too many layers. So of course, I just, I just love tying the belt kind of arbitrarily um, on its own as a knot instead of looping it through the actual holes. Again, speaking of Dunst, the second um, item of clothing that I got from them is this gorgeous navy, it's like a cardigan sweater. It's very light, I love it. It's nice and simple, you can style it with jeans. Again, it's perfect underneath a trench coat. Um, and it's something that if I was wearing a light t-shirt or a tank top underneath, I could just put this over and if I'm feeling a bit warm, I can take it off. Um, but I just love the shape. It's more on the cropped side for sure but it's definitely something different from my usual long sleeve cardigans that I normally wear. Of course, London weather can be hit or miss, um, but this is one of those great in-between pieces that are just super light and easy to wear and also easy to carry. If you take off a layer, um, you can just, I can just hold this in my hand or shove it in the pocket of like a trench coat or something um, if I decide to have something lighter underneath. Now, speaking of trench coats, this is the Camilla and Mark trench coat. Now, this is obviously the lighter cream beige um, color trench coat that I was mentioning. Navy is great for like everyday errands type of thing. I am still someone that's nervous about getting certain pieces dirty only because you have to dry clean these, um, the, these pieces. But this Camilla and Mark trench coat is absolutely stunning. It doesn't have buttons unlike the other trench coat, which is perfect because I like to wrap around and just tie along the waist um, with the belt. And again, I think I've stopped using the loopholes of the belt in such a long time. I just prefer to tie an actual knot. It's just super classy. The back is also really, really nice. I love the sleeves and I just love that there's an adjustable belt along the wrist so that you can cinch it to your liking. If you want it wider, then you can do that, especially if you're wearing a lot of layers underneath. But again, for me, I like to um, cut out the cold. <laughs> so of course, I just love the way that it was, it has this adjustable belt detail, which is super nice as well. Um, and for me, again, the pockets are really cool. You can put a book in there if you want. Very spacious pockets. I, I feel like I rarely use pockets unless I literally just put my phone in there. Uh, and that's about it. I tend to really make use of my handbag, but I just, I love the design of, of the pockets. Overall, the trench itself is super gorgeous. The structure of it, especially when it's cinched around the waist, is absolutely phenomenal. Australian brands are amazing and Camilla and Mark is one of my favorite Australian brands and they've got a lot of beautiful, like just gorgeous pieces. You should definitely check this brand out. And again, I'll link this coat down below um, for you guys to check out. Now, of course, continuing with the whole beige cream color and another Aussie brand, I got these trousers, um, they're like linen trousers from an Australian brand called Dish. I had seen them before, I think on Instagram or TikTok, and they got in touch with me, and I picked two items uh, from their website. Summer is, of course, around the corner, and I've actually never had a pair of linen pants, so um, this is my first time really delving into getting my grown-up adult girl um, linen trousers, and so for me, I look forward to taking these on vacation with me. Um, Funny enough, I had been earlier on in February to Vietnam. These would have been perfect for that trip as well, but I definitely look forward to these being my trousers for my holidays. And of course, here and there in London, London, London weather can be very tricky in the summer. Um, so I see myself wearing these more so um, out of the country than in the country. But overall, I'm just, I love the fact that they're double lined. So they're not see-through at all, and they still maintain a bit of I um, wouldn't say thickness to them, but they're, they're warm enough, but, I, but breathable at the same time, so you can wear them in hot weather. And the second item that I got from Dish is this gorgeous, it's a very dark navy, I think it almost looks black on screen, but it is a dark navy um, knitted slip dress. It's got a slit at the back, um, but it's a nice stretch type of like, knit fra fabric. Um, I love the detail with the white against the navy that 
bit of that nautical um, beach colors, if you if you can say it that way. Um, it stretches. This is an extra small, but honestly, if you are someone that wears a small, you could get away with this. Um, it's just a gorgeous, simple slip dress. Again, I've been wearing these uh, low heels from Zara, which are another pair of shoes that I got recently. I haven't shopped for shoes in ages, but I did get these Zara low kitten heels that you know, every brand kind of makes one of these and they go with a lot of outfits and they work well with this dress. I just love the silhouette of this dress. It's figure hugging. It's, you know, it's just beautiful. It's a very simple dress and slip dresses are my favorite. So that was the second item from Dish that I got. Um, if you guys love this, absolutely um, check it out. I'll link it down below. When I was shopping online, I also got two items. I got this I guess it's like, it's a plain black top t-shirt to the naked eye, but I love the fact that it's got these long, slim, like hugging, um, they hug your biceps, they hug, you, hug your forearms, I never know the correct terminology. Um, so you can never have too many plain black t-shirts, it's all about the cut, the design, the length of the sleeves, and for me, this one is a very nice and different um, design that I just wanted to add to my black t-shirt collection. Now I did buy this top specifically because on the website it was styled with this bubble skirt. I'm seeing a trend of these like puffy bubble skirts or dresses whether it's like short or a long length and this is actually a skirt. I didn't realize, I guess I wasn't reading properly, I didn't realize until I bought it that it has shorts underneath which is perfect because then I feel like you feel a bit more secure in them. The back does feel a bit shorter than the front. So at one point I thought maybe I can wear it in reverse and no one would really know the difference because it zips on the side because the size that I got is an extra small. Um, and I know around my waist area, there's it, it can be, a small sometimes can be a bit loose. It's harder when you have a bit more of a, of a bum, of a, of a behind, it's hard sizing up with the skirt depending on where it falls on your waist. So when I'm wearing it, I do feel secure by the fact that it's an actual skirt, so there's shorts underneath. Um, but I might try and see if I can, if there's a difference in how it sits if I turn it around to the from the front to the back. I don't know. Um, but I did get an extra small in it. I'm usually UK eight, but I can go between a UK six to an eight. Um, so just just be aware of that. Depending on the size of your butt, it may have an effect on you having to maybe size up or if you don't size up just be careful with how short it may be um, at the back but together with this black t-shirt I just love it it's very chic I can put on the kitten heels or if I wanted a higher pair of heels it's a nice little cute little spring summer outfit um, but I can also wear it with flats if I'm just running around in town or at a market or wherever depending on whatever city you live in um, it's, it's just perfect and yeah I'm, I'm excited to see where this trend of bubble skirts and dresses is going to go this season. Now if like me you have been searching kind of low for the Kate cardigan dupe I feel like it's been a good year since people have been trying to find dupes of the original Kate Cardigan, which retails for, I think now it's around 1,800 pounds. It's a great cardigan. I've tried it on myself. Great material. It's got a nice weight to it. I love how it cinches around the waist and the sleeves are absolutely gorgeous. I stumbled across one when I was walking past Arquette. I, I think I was going to cause. It was outside in the display window and it was in the color red. And I thought, okay, they must have it in another color. Thank goodness they have it in this beige cream color. This is it. And I went in, luckily they had my size and I went to try it out. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's only 97 pounds guys, that's a steal. Good quality um, material. It's got a nice weight and thickness to it. Not too, too heavy. So this is a great transitional spring into summer piece. I just wear it with a bra underneath um, and it buttons up in front so you won't get too warm. I think I, I wore it for the first time just before Easter, the long Easter weekend when I went out in the evening. That was more than enough to keep me warm. And I'm sure down the line summertime you can wear it over a slip dress or you can wear it with the buttons opened up in front. Um, if you want to style it with jeans, shorts, a short skirt it goes with a lot of things it's very simple but it's gorgeous and i love the structure very well made and for arquette i think it's a good price 
So yeah, I will do more of these um, from time to time and let me know if you want me to dedicate a video completely to just styling outfits, that sort of thing, and I'll be more than happy to do so.